Hey guys, y'all might be able to see. Today is a rain day, but I scheduled two um, blower motors today that I could do back at the shop. And uh, one of them we're taking that Amana that had that $1,200 variable speed motor and somebody had put in a PSC that was getting hot. Um, we are replacing that with an evergreen ECM. And so I wanted to show you how you wire it from it being a PSC to um, the X13 style motor. And the other one, we're going from a variable speed to a PSC or regular motor with a capacitor. Stay tuned. All right, so I've made it back to the shop. I've got some other stuff that I need to do today. Let's do this big motor first. This is the one that was originally the variable speed and it is now a PSC and it was getting hot. Um, so let's well, do that guys. I'm basically gonna be jamming to my radio while I'm here. I'm gonna knock these out and I'll show you my end product. All I'm doing is mounting them in this squirrel cage. All right, um, on this one, three quarter horsepower, 6.2 amps. What was in there was a three quarter horsepower, four amps. This evergreen motor is, or Gentech, what are you gonna call it? Is three quarter horsepower, six amps. I think that'll be fine. And this one, this is a variable speed, half horsepower, 3.8, 3.6. Let's go see what we got. Do half 3.6 that'll work right there all right this is my just them mounted where they need to be got my got those pointed down these aren't exactly pointed down but i put my capacitor right where it'd be easy to access and read i think i'll write on here um three quarter horse uh, one half horsepower, 3.8 amps. All right, this is this. We're gonna reutilize what we can here. First, I gotta make sure we don't have power. All right, just making sure I don't have power. Nothing. Good. these connectors that come in the box on here for the motor hold on just a sec right here's going to be my 24 volts common power ground power and these last three have smaller spades but they send you they send you the right size in the box.
All right, so we need to get another small one. So it has power all the time from the same power source it had before. It came right off this contactor. All right, this is, they're using blue for common, so I was fishing for a blue wire. This is, the blue is common, black is power, green is ground, and this red is power. Make sure all those are firmly connected. And you can see that right here. Common, line, line power, ground, neutral which is also line power because this is 240 now if this were a 120 volt motor that would be neutral and these other ones one two three four five are speed taps all right also in the box comes with this plug and these are the evergreen motors comes with this plug and this is to supply the hot for to give you your speeds I ended up hooking my my blue which was my common to the blue from the thermostat wires and I capped off the other one I hooked white to white yellow to yellow yellow is on high and um let me see and green to green which is on low and I'll tell you which one is which right here and if you want to confirm that yellow right here's the last one that's five so let's go put power to it and then turn it on power back it now has power i'm gonna take this off it's just my wireless on wireless is on I'm gonna clamp around my my black wire here now it's probably gonna rotate both directions before it picks the speed Remember the condenser outside still disconnected. 
Now it should start the correct way. Those are my amps on low. I'm going to zip tie that a little bit, but um, first, let's put the panel on. And turn on the cooling so it'll go into high speed. Now we're at 1.37 amps. We're going to turn on the cooling. Let's see what happens. That's good. That's real good. Remember this motor is rated at six amps. Nice. Is running. I'm gonna submit another estimate just for that um disconnect right there because it is bypassed and uh I might be back on this one but that one turned out really good. I decided to go with the ECM on that motor because it had an ECM before with a really high amp rating. And as you see, it was pulling four amps. And that was the very limit of like a rescue three quarter horsepower, 1075 RPM PSC motor was four amps. So I think we did right on that one. It certainly turned out well that that motor should last as long as that system lasts. Now we're going to go do replace the variable speed with a PSC. Here we go. All right, on this one, my this was a variable speed motor. This was my communication wires connection. This right here, L1, L2, is where it got power 24/7. So we're going to hook up and get power right here. Still, still use the board. Um, and let me see before I do that we need to identify which one is common and which one is run <laughs> all right we're gonna make let me see L1 L2 <laughs> we're gonna make black our common it is l1 and uh so that's the one we're gonna break that's important that's the wire that is broken right here the wire that's broken by the heat strip so when um the heat strip makes See if I got this right. So when the heat strip makes to the other side, we can run a power wire to the normally closed on the relay. 
Wait a minute. Got my motor installed. And um, I got my relay mounted. I set the direction before I got here. Um, but we're still gonna check it. <laughs> okay, white wire. Looks like a neutral, but this is a 240 volt motor. break black I tell you what why don't we do blue I'm gonna break blue so blue's gonna go here These three are going to be capped. All these are speeds. Blue, yellow, black, and red are all speeds. The white is your run. And your colored speeds are your common. Okay, I've just hooked up my low voltage. Common. They're using gray as common. You can see it right here that gray wire and green for my fan right here so all I need to do is hook power from here to here and it'll power my fan but I'm gonna hook up another wire right here this is normally open that means when there's no voltage applied right here there's no 24 volts this is open this one is normally closed so when there's no 24 volts, this and this are connected, and this and this are not connected. So um, you get power all the time right here, and then power just when the heat strips are on right here. So let's get that one power wire hooked up. from right here to right there my other power is over here any single phase motor is going to have two power sources even if it's 120 volts neutral is considered power there's one there there's the other there right there and right there
right now I know it'll run we just need to hook up our normally closed sometimes a thermostat when it calls for this is a heat pump when it calls for emergency heat it just energizes the W wire in that case this one well actually it's this one and then that energizes this and then the board energizes these two down here <clears throat> and that should be simultaneous but because we've identified the black as our common we need to jump from there over to right here okay y'all see that little teardrop porcelain piece that now has two wires coming from it that is the end of my heat strip and this is one of my wires it um I jumped right there because you don't even have to know how the heat relays work you know that when that heat strip gets power this is going to have power took that wire that was all the way back there and I put it on normally closed so when this don't have 24 volts this normally close that black wire and this wire going to my blower motor are connected when it does have 24 volts the black wire that always has power is connected to the to the blue wire all right now I'm gonna work on cleaning this up a little bit I'm just going to disconnect my power wire so I can untangle this zip tie things together push it back and reconnect my power wires all right I just put power to it let's uh let's get my amp my amp clamp out this one I marked up here 3.8 amps select my wireless on all right um let's go turn on just the blower see what happens Can't see nothing. I'm on emergency heat. If I got that wire backwards, it wouldn't come on. couldn't get the panel on so I laid the capacitor down on that little shelf that the blower sits on I laid it down and pushed it up in there and just strapped it there let's see about cooling I checked pressures on it this uh, it's probably been Two weeks ago now and the pressures were fine I just wanted to make sure it would come on well guys I want this video to be about changing the blower motors and how to wire them the way I wired that one worked out just fine I am gonna have to replace the heater kit on that but um, heat pump blower cooling heat works just fine I would add that I was shooting for reliability on using a PSC motor and if you don't know a PSC motor means 
permanent split capacitor. So basically a regular motor that has a run capacitor in it is a PSC motor. So doing it with a PSC, adding a relay and a capacitor, it was still cheaper than doing an X13 motor or an ECM. And I was shooting for reliability on that one, so I think we got it. But I will have to come back and do the heater kit. Thanks for watching.